to today's story, starring me and not starring Nanette Memoir. <laughs> Today is a great day on account of it is Nature Survival Day with Coach Reinhardt. Today we will build our characters in the annual character building obstacle course. Class, today you are getting in the ring with Mother Nature. And you better watch out because that old lady's got one heck of a left hook! Any of you expecting a rose smelling tiptoe through the tulips nature stroll can go join the Glee Club! The only way to penetrate Mother Nature's defenses is to work together as a team. So, let's get out there and find out what you're made of! Go, go, go! Yeah, let's kick Mother Nature's butt! <laughs> One snake bite kit, two tube sock tourniquets, a picture of Gina Lash, a splint. I ask you, Gordy Reinhardt, could this day, which cannot get any better, get any better? We could be going to one of the final performances of Cats the Musical. Oh. Should we sit in the front of the bus or the back? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Where would Nanette sit? Wait a minute! Maybe it could get better on account of the absence of one Nanette Memoir. All right, troops. Nothing great was ever achieved without a goal. So, I want everyone to rip a sheet of paper from the book of easy living and write down your goal for the day. Your goal for the day. <laughs> this done. On account of my knowledge of the woods, maybe my goal should be to help each and every member of my team. <laughs> On Team Thistle. Me too. Team Thistle it is. Dorn, I'm on Team This Too. That's Thistle, Johnny Abadi. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> and now with my friends on my team, nothing can stop me from achieving my goal for the day. Huh? Ah! <laughs> you, Nanette Manoir, what are you doing here? You didn't expect me to take the bus, did you? Here's your team assignment, Manwar. <gasps> <laughs> team Thistle. <laughs> is there a Team Thistle here? Uh, this is uh, Team Thistle? Uh, oh, mon dieu. Uh, I suppose I'm expected to balance out some of you. All right, kids, time to pick team captains. I think I would be able to help our team as team captain on account of I am a junior ranger in training with the Tapwater Springs Parks Department. While the Parks Department no doubt runs a wonderful program for the underprivileged, <gasps> I'm sure my summer training in survival tactics at Mount Everest Kitty Camp makes me the best candidate for team captain. But before we take a vote, I would just like to present each of you with a genuine French Swiss Army Gandy mirror, courtesy of moi. <gasps> Sold? Uh, sorry, Angela. This could be helpful in the unlikely event of a weasel attack. I could shine sunlight in his eyes. <laughs> and, of course, I'll celebrate my victory with a post-survival barbecue. B -b 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 <laughs> barbecue? Gee, Nanette's experience does smell... Uh, I mean, sound good. <sighs> then it's settled. I'm team captain. I just have a few essential supplies in my fine French travel gear. Vessels! Today is about teamwork, so... Pick up those bags and get moving! This is just like Everest with my own gaggle of personal Sherpas, which is Tibetan for get the let out, thistles! And remember, there's no I in team. So now we have fallen behind on account of Minnie Pooh bringing everything she owns and leaving nothing behind. Keep moving, Angela Anaconda! Just following orders, El Capitan. <laughs> Listen up, troops. No one survives in the wild without agility, so let's start the tire test. <gasps> ow! 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 This is no time for a rest, Angela Anaconda. Don't let your fatigue weigh you down. Whatever you say. <laughs> Congratulations, troops! You have now reached the wall! <gasps> Working as teams, 
Let's see you scale this puppy! Anaconda. Gordy Reinhardt, why are you leading? I'm not leading. I'm the tail. We've been hiking in a big circle. Wait a second. Coach Reinhardt gave the map to Captain Ninny, which means you should have it. You mean this? What the? It's all smeared. While the Menoirs definitely don't sweat, given the right cardiovascular workout, we do glisten. I use that paper to wipe my face. I'd like to use my socks to wipe her face. In other words, <laughs> we're lost. lost! Everybody calm down. I'm sure there's a rescue soiree out looking for us. Uh, third word? Genuflect! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Who's the coach? Uh, uh, who, who, who? Uh, uh, I can feel the pollen closing in around me. Must have <laughs> spray. Are you looking for that bag with the red plus sign on it? Yes, my first aid kit. Have you seen it? Yes, yeah. about five miles back. I took it off when I realized how much it was slowing you down. The woods, they're, they're closing in. Don't panic, Gordy <gasps> Reinhardt. But, but what if we don't make it and, and are forced to live in the woods? We'll, we'll have to eat each other to survive. Whoa! Gina Lash, stick by me. Hey guys, Gordy's looking kind of green. Now he's looking kind of blue. Well, at least one of us came prepared. Step back so I can give him some air. Now, where do I plug this in? That's what we've been carrying all this time? Electric appliances that are useless in the woods on account of there is no electricity? Fortunately, a junior ranger in training never forgets her trusty compass. Huh? Hey, my trusty compass isn't so trusty. Now we are really lost forever, and all because of Captain Manure, who got us into this mess in the first place. Well, I will show you a mess that I will get you into, my hapless mapless friend, now that I am Team Captain. <gasps> Watch out for that quicksand, my shirtless twerp. Oh, Ninny War, I have a few tray heavy bags for you to carry. Help me, help me! Now, which way should we go? Uh-oh! According to this broken compass, we should hike for days in a circle without lifting a finger. Angela, Angela! You will whine. You're all too heavy and I need a rest. Oh, sorry, Ninny Poo. Let us take a vote, trusty team. What should we get rid of? Please, oh please, Angela Anaconda, who would have made a far superior team captain than I. You will cry. Aren't I more valuable than some cheap French luggage? My choice is made. Goodbye, El Capitan. It's all downstream from here. Ah! <laughs> downstream, that's it. We started hiking upstream, so all we have to do is follow the water downstream and it will take us home. I learned that in Junior Ranger in training. That's brilliant, Angela. <sighs> Just one problem. Where's the river? Too bad we didn't know we were going to get lost. We could have left a trail. Maybe we did, Johnny Abadi. I think we did leave a trail back to the trail. Let's go. I'm starving. Team Thistle! Coach Reinhardt, even though Angela Anaconda got us lost, I would like to point out that it was my luggage that helped us find our way back. Lost? Who was lost? Did you accomplish your goals for the day? Hey, I didn't die of starvation. That was my goal. And I didn't die from natural causes. And I helped everyone on my team by finding our way back, even the ones I didn't want to help. What was your goal, Nanette? To spend as little time in the woods on this silly exercise as possible. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I think someone needs a little more character building. 
Why don't you carry all these bags back to the bus? What? But I... Don't uh, worry, Nanette. Uh, a junior ranger in training always helps a person in need of help. <laughs> Today is a very exciting day on account of it is the first day of our first annual first ever Tapwater Springs Turtle Races between Gina Lash's turtle, Sheldon, and Zippy. I scraped flies off the windowsill for us to use as bait. Nona says it's an old turtle racing secret from Sicily. Ugh, so this is what it feels like to lose your appetite. Ugh. Ow! Uh, is he gonna be okay? Oh, yeah, sure. He's just having a really bad day. It started first thing in the morning, right off the bat. What was that? Who's there? Ugh, my bones are as brittle as uncooked linguine. Next, he starts taking his morning shower. Oh, so love me, oh. <gasps> ah! No! And then, when he was buying his industrial-sized hair gel at Waldo's... Is that all, sir? Sir? You called me sir? No one calls me sir and gets away with it. I think maybe Uncle Nicky is sad because he's getting so old. Uh, I'm getting so old. Well, how old is Uncle Nicky? Oh, he's been 26 for about nine years now. <gasps> Every day it's the same routine. Fast cars and fast women. Who knew getting old would be so boring? Why, I remember being a little boy. Like oh, well. Off to the turtle races. Races? Hey, can I come? I'll drive. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe Uncle Nicky honks at people he wants to say hi to. Hey, Johnny, put on some tunes, huh? You kids scream for ice cream or what? Yeah! Ah! You. I'll take one Marcel Marceau, which is French for clown Sunday. <laughs> I'll take five clown Sundays. And uh, don't skip on the clown, huh? Ice cream is on me. Hey, uh, Johnny, uh, you still got that five bucks? But that was supposed to be for Nona's denture cream. What? All of a sudden, she's too good to stick them in with bubble gum? Give me that. Excusez-moi, but seeing as I was here first and the ice cream gentleman is parked in front of my mansion, I feel it's only right that I get served my clown sundae first. Eh, uh, sorry, toots. Looks like we got the last ones. Oh, well, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> Let's us go race some turtles. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> hey, Uncle Nicky, you make up some cool things. And the net wasn't even sleeping. <laughs> So now Uncle Nicky's bad day has turned into our good day on account of Uncle Nicky makes a better kid than all of us kids put together. I've got five fishy fish on Sheldon to beat Zippy. Are you crazy? Zippy isn't called Zippy for nothing, Gordy Reinhardt. Fishy fish? You guys are betting fishy fish? What do you say we make this a little more interesting? Uh, how about playing for lunch money? <clears throat> Gambling? Isn't that illegal? Not to mention immoral, financially irresponsible, and unhygienic. Do you know how many dirty hands a dollar bill passes through in one day alone? Yeah, when I was your age, I gambled all the time. Uh, I mean, before I went to juvie. Besides, it's all for fun. Oh. Hey, now I can buy some new cologne-scented fuzzy dice for my car. So we lost a little lunch money. It's a small price to pay to be hanging out with Uncle Nicky. Yeah. Hey, Mac! What do you think you're doing? Hey, we're just a bunch of kids trying to have some fun. What do you think you're doing? No harm done, right, sir? <laughs> no need to hunt us down and beat us to a pulp later, right? Thanks, then. Glad we had this chat. Uncle Nicky, we'd love to let you play, but... But the game is called Four Square. Four Square. Four Square. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Man! 
Man, it feels good to be young again. What's next? Okay, I think we lost him. You uh, didn't need that third branch, did you? I brought a uh, fun calendar for the wall of our tree fort. <laughs> Yo! I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to think that it sure would be fun if us kids could play with just us kids for a change. Johnny, uh, don't take this the wrong way. We like your Uncle Nicky and all, but... You like him? He's driving me nuts! We'll have to handle this gingerly. He's going through a difficult time after all. I say we sit him down and discuss our feelings about... Or we could just ditch him. Yeah! Okay, then. Time to play our favorite game of hide-and-go-seek. All right, Uncle Nicky. We'll hide and you seek. Count to 20. 20? How's about 10? 15. Done. Ah! <laughs> Use all the lousy hiders. Any other ideas? Uncle Nicky, you found us just in time for doll time. Who wants to play with Sassy Sally and Celebrity Sue? I haven't played with dolls in years. This is great. Uh, let me go get my Sergeant Pete. Yeah. I can't believe this. How can a grown-up grown man like dolls? Even I'm too old to play with dolls. What time is tea today, Sassy Sally? Tea is at three, as usual. What's that? I think I hear the bushes calling me. Sally! Is there anything Uncle Nicky doesn't like to do? I don't know. Nona's always saying that he doesn't like to work. I've got it! The best idea yet! And it better work on account of I don't have any more ideas left in my head after this one. Yo! Uh, sorry it took me so long. I had to get Sergeant Pete's left leg out of my glove compartment. I say, this is how we read our gardens in merry old England. Okay, Uncle Nicky, now we're going to play the yard work game. I see a lot of weeds over there. You better get started. You knows, I just love hanging out with you kids, even if it means working. On account of hanging out with you kids makes me feel like a kid again. Did he just say, on account of? Gina Lash, I can't take anymore. If we don't get away from him, I'm going to do something drastic. Okay, just follow my lead. Uh, I, uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Me too. Uh, hey, wait for me. Hey, how many people can fit in that bathroom? Just you and me, kid. Hey, maybe tomorrow I can even come to school with yous. So now it is just me and Uncle Nicky, and it looks like I am going to be stuck with him forever, on account of he wants to stay a little kid forever. Maybe you should be careful for what you wish for, Uncle Nicky, on account of you didn't like being a kid so much the first time around. What? You don't remember? Well, I will remind you. Remember the first time you tried to drive a car? Sorry, Uncle Nicky. You're not tall enough to see over the dashboard yet. But don't get too down in the dumps on account of you can't drive. There are other fun things to do when you're a kid. Remember the time you tried to swing with the fifth graders? <laughs> Poor Uncle Nicky. Wouldn't you rather be swinging with your babes? <laughs> but you're just a kid. The only babes that will play with you are Sassy Sally and Celebrity Sue. Too bad they're made of plastic. Cheer up, Uncle Nicky. Maybe things were better when you were a little baby. Look how cute you were, playing with your cute little fuzzy dice. But unfortunately for you, it is illegal for little babies to do even a little gambling. Well, at least in here you can grow old without having to worry about the boring routine of fast cars and fast women anymore, right? Being a kid sure is fun. Isn't it, Uncle Nicky? <laughs> Fun? Wanting to be a kid may be the biggest mistake you've ever made, Uncle Nicky. Even for you. Uncle Nicky, we have to talk. <gasps> Did you hear that? She called him Uncle Nicky. Oh, that is so cute. And look at him taking care of that kid. Oh, he's so responsible. So mature. Um, hey, Angelas. Uh, don't you want to see how your friends are doing in the bathroom? Well, ladies, as a matter of fact, I am mature. Uh, did you know I even have a gray hair? That is 
so, like, distinguished. Can we call you sir? <laughs> you can call me anything you want, sugar lips. You babarellos want to go and have some, uh, grown-up fun? <laughs> Uncle Nicky! Wait! Hey! You got rid of him? Do you think maybe you could have gotten rid of him after he gave us a ride home? <laughs> you snooze, you lose. <laughs>